Get understanding and insight. Let me welcome you new believers to a journey that will transform your life. Congratulations on accepting Jesus Christ into your heart and embarking on this incredible adventure of faith. In this video, we'll walk you through 10 crucial steps to help you grow in your newfound faith. From building a solid foundation to embracing a life of discipleship, we'll delve into biblical wisdom and practical guidance that will empower you to flourish in your walk with Christ. This new life in Jesus is the beginning of your spiritual walk with God. Just as every baby needs several things to grow, as a newborn in Christ Jesus, you require some essential things to grow spiritually. So, let's dive in and discover the keys to nurturing your new life and faith in Christ Jesus. Number 1. Lay a solid foundation on Christ, let Jesus be your focus. To grow your new life and faith in Christ, it's essential to establish a firm foundation. Just as a wise builder constructs a house on solid ground, you must root your faith in Jesus Christ. The Bible says in, Matthew chapter 7 verses 24 and 25, Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine, and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock, and the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. So, by immersing yourself in His teachings and seeking a personal relationship with Him, you'll strengthen your spiritual footing. Spend time in prayer and study the Word of God, the Holy Bible, to develop a solid foundation that will sustain you through every season of life. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 says, Looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith. Let Jesus be your focus. Serve Him please Him, and strive to live for Him every day of your life. 2. Embrace the power of God's Word. The Bible is an incredible gift from God, providing us with divine wisdom, guidance, and comfort. As a new believer, immerse yourself in the Scriptures. It's through God's Word that you'll find answers to life's questions, discover His promises, and gain a deeper understanding of His character. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 verses 16 and 17, all scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 2, says, As newborn babe desire the pure milk of the word of God, the Bible. So, Begin to desire and get interested in knowing and understanding the Word of God. Get a copy of the Bible, physical copy or soft. Read and study it copiously, and meditate on it. It is God's Word. It will help you love and know God. The Bible has several books in it. Now as a guide on where to start reading from, my candid advice is that you start reading from the book of the Gospel of John, and then the book of the Gospel of Mark, then the others. This way you will get to receive a good foundation and understanding of the life and story of our Savior Jesus. Number 3. Cultivate a Vibrant Prayer Life. You are now a child of God. Every child talks to his father. God is now your father, and he feels good when you talk with him frequently. Praying is the act of talking to God. It is a powerful tool that connects us with our Heavenly Father. As a new believer, develop a consistent and heartfelt prayer life. Through prayer, you can express your gratitude, share your joys and struggles, seek guidance, and experience the peace that surpasses all understanding. God's Word says, in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 and 7, Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. As a guide, it is usually good to start your prayers by thanking God for saving you, for being good to you, and for having a good and great plan for you. Then, you can continue by asking God for grace to continue in your newfound faith, and other requests you may have. God answers every prayer we make to Him, whether individually, 
or collectively as a group of believers. Just believe that He has the answer, and you will see the result. So, make prayer a daily habit, setting aside dedicated time to commune with God, and watch as your relationship with Him deepens. 1 Thess chapter 5 verse 17 says, Pray continually. Number 4. Engage in Christian Fellowship. As a new believer, it's vital to connect with fellow Christians who can support and encourage you on your journey. Seek out a local church or Christian fellowship where you can engage in meaningful fellowship. Surround yourself with believers who can offer guidance, accountability, and friendship. Together, you can learn, grow, and serve God's kingdom, fostering a vibrant and nurturing environment for your faith to flourish. Hebrews chapter 10 verses 24 and 25, says, And let us consider one another to challenge unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as ye see the day approaching. Fellowship brings encouragement and edification. It provides the opportunity for mentoring and learning from others. Number 5. Walk in obedience and live out your faith. Genuine faith is not merely about hearing and accepting God's Word, it's about living it out daily. As a new believer, allow your faith to transform your life. Put into practice what you've learned from the Bible, relying on the Holy Spirit's guidance. Walk in obedience to God's commandments, seeking to reflect Christ's love, grace, and compassion in all you do. James chapter 1 verse 22, says, But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Through your actions, you'll become a living testimony of God's transformative power. Number 6. Share the story of your new life with others. Now, you have a new life. Now you have a new beginning. Isn't it lovely? Certainly, it is. God wants to save others through you. In Mark chapter 16 verse 15, Jesus said, Go into all the world and preach the good news to every person. Sharing your story of transformation can help others experience the same. You can share your story with friends, family members, people online, and people you meet. God has promised great blessings for all who obey and share God's word with others and bring others to Jesus. This is also a great tool to keep your faith. When you share your new experience with others, it gives you a defense capable of helping you overcome any temptation to fall back to your past previous lifestyles. It will help you as a check. So go ahead, preach to others, and lead them to receive Jesus, just as you did. Number 7. Embracing the Power of Worship and Praise Worship is a beautiful expression of our love and devotion to God. It is through worship that we draw closer to Him, offering Him the honor and adoration He deserves. Engage in heartfelt worship, whether it be through singing, playing an instrument, or simply lifting your voice in praise. Worship not only glorifies God, but it also invites His presence into your life. As you worship, you will experience the joy and peace that comes from being in His presence. Psalm 100 verse 2 says, Worship the Lord with gladness, come before Him with joyful songs. God dwells in our praise. Praise and worship is an invitation that God cannot turn down. So, if you want to experience God's presence and goodness, learn to frequently give Him quality praise and worship. Number 8. Overcome the temptation of the appeals of sin and cutting ties to the past. Strive to live daily above sin, as followers of Christ, we are called to live a life that reflects His holiness and righteousness. The Apostle Paul exhorts believers to, Reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord, Romans chapter 6 verse 11. Identify and cut ties to past sins and sinful lifestyles, as you grow in your faith, it's essential to identify any areas of your life that are still entangled in sinful patterns and lifestyles. Avoid past wrong and sinful companionships, 
identify and distance yourself from individuals who have a negative influence on your faith journey or who continually lead you into temptation. The book of Proverbs advises, He that walketh with wise men shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed, that is Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20. Seek out godly friendships and companionships that will encourage and support you in your pursuit of righteousness. Number 9. Guarding the Heart. As a new believer, it is vital to guard your heart against unhealthy and negative thoughts that can lure you back into sin. The Bible provides guidance on this matter, offering wisdom and encouragement to help you in this journey of faith. The book of Mark chapter 7 verses 21 and 23 says, For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within, and defile the man. To live a victorious Christian life daily, you need to guard your thought. The heart mentioned here does not mean your biological heart, but your inner being your thought realm. So, don't let those things defile or make you unclean. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 states, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. This verse emphasizes the importance of guarding our hearts, for it is the wellspring of our thoughts, emotions, and actions. To walk in righteousness and grow in your newfound faith, it is essential to protect your heart from anything that may lead you astray. Renew your mind, guarding your heart also involves renewing your mind with God's truth. Romans chapter 12 verse 2 encourages believers, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good, and acceptable, and perfect, will of God. Fill your mind with the Word of God, meditate on His promises, and allow His truth to shape your thoughts and perspectives. By renewing your mind, you align yourself with God's will and protect yourself from negative influences. And lastly, 10. Resisting the spirit of fear, embracing God's boldness and promises. As a new believer, it is important to resist the spirit of fear that may try to hinder your faith journey. The Bible provides powerful verses and promises that encourage us to overcome fear and rely on God's strength and presence. Let's explore some of these truths. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 states, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. This verse reminds us that fear does not come from God. Instead, He has equipped us with His Spirit, which empowers us, fills us with love, and gives us a sound mind. As you face challenges and uncertainties, remember that God has given you the ability to overcome fear through His Spirit. Never allow fear, refuse to let fear dominate your life. Instead, choose to trust in God's faithfulness and provision. Hebrews chapter 13 verses 5 and 6 reassure us with these words, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have, for he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. So that we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. God has promised to never leave or forsake us. With this assurance, we can boldly declare that the Lord is our helper and find confidence in His presence, even in times of trouble. By embracing God's boldness, trusting in His promises, and relying on His presence, you can resist the spirit of fear. Remember, fear is not of God but is a tool of the enemy. With the power of the Holy Spirit within you, you can face every situation with confidence, knowing that God is your protector and guide. Now, before we conclude, let me summarize the 10 things again. Number 1, you have to lay a solid foundation on Christ, let Jesus be your focus. 2, embrace the power of God's Word. Number 3, cultivate a vibrant prayer life. Number 4, engage in Christian fellowship. Number 5, walk in obedience and live out your faith. Number 6. 
Share the story of your new life with others. Number 7. Embrace the power of worship and praise. Number 8. Overcome the temptation of the appeals of sin and cut every negative ties to the past. Number 9. Guard your heart, protect yourself against unhealthy thoughts. And lastly, 10. Resist the spirit of fear, embrace God's boldness and promises. Now in conclusion. You've learned the 10 essential steps to help you grow your newfound faith in Christ Jesus. Remember, this is just the beginning of an incredible journey with Jesus. Continually seek Him, study His Word, and apply these principles to your life. Stay tuned for more inspiring content and practical guidance to deepen your faith. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey of faith. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. Share this video with others who may benefit from it, and don't forget to hit the notification bell, so you never miss an update. We look forward to walking alongside you as you nurture and grow your newfound faith in Christ Jesus. Until next time, may God's grace and peace be with you.